I'm my name is Joe Metal. Keep watching SK Beat Records. Um, they will provide you with news, updates, events, you know, many things. <laughs> Yo, keep watching SKB TV. He's been supporting musicians, you know. He has this amazing program behind the scenes with SKB. Man, he's supporting all of us. I mean, all over the world. Keep watching this dude, man. God bless you. Keep watching SKB, where you get all the gist about musicians in Ghana. Hello everybody, once again you're watching S to the K to the B A T Z and you guys know what I do best. Behind the scenes and exclusive interviews I bring on board musicians that you would love to know more about. Today I have the only up and ten here with me. And I'm a boy. What's your full name? My full name is Steven Appenten. Steven Appenten. Okay, so it's like, it's your name, real name? It's my name, I thought, yeah. it's, I thought it was a nickname or something. No, no, no. no. Do you have a nickname? It's my name. <laughs> <laughs> the nickname, yeah. Secondary school, la, la, la. Uh, What was that name? I think that was very Alewa. Alewa? Are they? Have you said my mom black and white kids? <laughs> Senior Penten, someone says I've been asked. I don't know if you're in a bag, a boy. She said, Someone say it's a year 24, you know. Same, yeah, in a bag, boy. She said, I'm running stems, no, so my geometric feeling. So most of the times I have my bag, which contains my laptop, sound cards, cables. Thank you. How long have you been working with him? Because it was like I started noticing you working with him, like. I think three, two years ago. About three years. Yeah, I think before the corona, or during the corona, that I noticed. Uh, it was it was before the before the COVID corona. time. Okay. It was around 2019, latter part of 2019. Yeah. Where were you before then? I was in Koforidua then. Okay, so yeah. you are based in Koforidua. Yeah, I grew up in Koforidua, born, okay. raised in Koforidua, schooled in Koforidua. Yeah, I went to Sektek. So I think it was in uni and I remember at UPSA. Yeah. And I'm a Sans Bury or All Nations University in Koforidua. And later I realized that Sena Adam Natched the end was a step out for Koforidua and I make up my brother in the end. So they made me higher in the lives of people. Now I am saying be a maker say Koforidia airport in your interior there. <laughs> wow, and I also noticed that um, you were part of um, George team, um, yes. Afre. Yes. You played with them for um, VGME and also I think three music. Yeah, and I also played with them for Tahila. Tahila, yes, yeah. yes. yes. Yeah. For Himames. Yes. Uh, I think um, Achi was the one who used yes, to play. Yes. Uh, he has traveled. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. So, do you do music full time? For now, I do music full time. Okay. Yeah, I do music full time. Okay. But I do um, I engage in other aspects of music, not just playing. I, I do recording, I do mixing, mastering. I also do jingles, yeah, voiceovers. Wow. And I also do audio consultancy as well. The jingle, is it that you record or like the vocals? Vocal, yeah. Do vocal? Wow. Yeah, I do. I do a lot. So can you name some of the projects you've done so far? Yeah, I think I did for CFC, CFC Chicken in Koforidua, Joy Sam, Joy Sam Limited. Yeah, there are a couple of companies. And some churches as well too. ICGC. And when how much do you charge when you play a gig for an artist? For an artist. Yes. <laughs> it's quite confidential, but uh, yeah, it's quite confidential. It depends. There are times you do better, there are times you take cash. It works. How, how Actually, long the studio pays more okay. than the gigs, but the gigs gives you leverage for your business because it puts you out there, it puts you on the spot. So you are able to engage with people professionally and take more from them on your private business. Uh -huh. Yes. And I noticed you also played for Black Sharif. Yeah, Black o. There was a video I, I, I saw on an, on Instagram on one of the musicians' page, and it seems you were enjoying the, the like there was some kind of vibe. Vibe. You were enjoying yeah. the, the it, I think is it Kweku the Kweku the Traveler. Kweku the Traveler. Yeah. I think you, you guys were having a rehearsal at Joe Metal Studio. Yes. And you were enjoying the what was about? Do, do you like the artist? 
I like I like the artist though. I like his music. His music okay. yeah, let, let, let me put that I like his music. Because uh, we, we try to arrange it so that it sounds musical. Oh, the, the studio guys, the, the secular music, you know, some of them are not too musical, but they have they have their vibe. So they're able to put something out there and everybody will be dancing to it. But if you so me musically, intellectuals, you know, at times, you know, so they don't have the vibe. Like, uh, like how those people have so I try to combine the two together and like, get a vibe from them rearrange the music and play it nicely for your audience to be happy so can you say that um, um, like Sharif is not difficult to work with is there any difficulties trying to work with him making they, are, they are not technical people so they are not like our church guys who are very good vocally and so the only struggle is the technical aspect, you know, but once you engage them to practice and to rehearse for some time, so they are sorted. Yeah. They do the apostle for coffee editing for J Enterprise. Yejuma ba kone se omamfu a etu bata etche amanone a omu nyango for ensho omochi. In terms of say infrastructure sa omu aye a omu di sike pudiu ezuem. Then so Bushian are sorry politicians and now for a do more and no an J enterprise abba. Say your boat tiny see the nucleidi and a pepper pay be some more what you should che na more but tidy se mobe ye infrastructures e will fear no you bit my fetchy a be a mammo. Ye be your numbers every screen as it for numbers no ne fre or fra ye no be and she share pa. Old property, Emaya, your perfectly near the kitchen, say, to the finishing, will be a perfect job at a very moderate price, sir. Oh, Huncher, a prophecy of her children, my renting, said Bayer, who is many to keep you at two children and maintain your property. You can have it, and then it will give you the joy and happiness you can ever have. Paul J. Enterprise, call and work with us, and we will give you the best. Why the Rasta? <laughs> Why the Rasta? Yeah. Wow, wow. That's, a, that's, a, that's an interesting question. Um, back in the days, uh, I, was, I was looking out for something that would make you stand out. Um, footballers, uh, they have some kind of look. Okay. Yeah. And uh, um, musicians, uh, so, so, uh, they have some kind of look. When, and uh, playing for a gospel artist, you have dreadlocks. People will be wondering why. So it kind of creates an attention on you. For instance, me joining Joe team, I was new. Um buy and to be a name. I was in it. Send KB and Chasa Kora. It will take time and sana. I know this is the guy. Because I'm a quiet person, I'm quite shy. And a little like You are shy? Yeah. Are you sure? Shy. Yeah, I'm very shy. The music never who say. Yeah, but me yeah, intro kaka, yeah. So like having the dread on no, will just fix the attention on you. Bro. But Ghana Ghana perception about the dreadlocks is quite some way because even in Accra when I'm driving, camp uh, police Beijing agent I was uh, times I want to search um say who on drobon in here one yeah. But the moment they encounter me, you know there is an aura good people have on the net. And, There is an aura good people have on the net. Good people, Ushioma, the energies they emit are good energies on the net. Until Unya, the police need energy now. Me, now Unya, hello, sir. It's time to be a camera. I hope to be a airboko. Like you know, that vibe now is there. You know, okay, this guy is a good guy. Until even say be a Robbie and I be be born and I be be cost to cram for. They 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 wouldn't. Add me because I'm him so no, this guy is a good guy, he's emitting good energies. And aside that, too, you know, I'm also able to reach out to people who are like me on the net and the people who have dreadlocks. I reach out to them, I share the gospel with them. I, I also, there's one side about me, I don't talk about it in public. I also do good to people, like the young people on the street, the, the hungry, the needy, the widows, and orphans. I, I show a lot of love to them. It sounds like a philanthropist. Uh -huh. It's like, 
Some of them are the normal. There are some of them I go to their shops even to pray for them and know that. Wow, this is amazing. If it's if you see if, if it's not SKB it's exclusive interview, you never know this about yeah. up and thing. You see, so subscribe, comment about my exclusive interviews, and let me know more about what you feel about these things that I do. Any last message for my viewers, whoever um, follows you? But I love you, all. I love you, all. and I can't wait to see you. And the last question: Are you married? Yes, please. I'm How many kids? One. One. Okay. I thought maybe five. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ghana, I had it. <laughs> Maximum, be two. Uh, two. Uh, okay. Wow, amazing. Thank you for watching SK Beach Records. God bless you. Comment and like, and there are more coming up. Bye bye.